Oh, Starfield live action trailer. Who they got? Anybody I know in here? Michael Jordan. I love that. Bro, oh, I love that. I love when people miss with eyes. I think eyes are probably like my favorite just thing in the world. Like, look at this thing. Look at it. Look at that. Like, bro, the way like Oppenheimer sees rain as like the bomb, I see eyes as like, um, as everything. Like, I can see this as like a sound wave or even like Sometimes in movies, they'll transition it to where like you'll shoot sideways on the eyes and your eyes kind of look like mountains or whatever. But there's just like, when you look in eyes with the iris and shit, I don't know, I see a lot of different shit. And even like the void, <laughs> even the void's kind of interesting. Like, I don't know, I find eyes like very interesting in general. Besides like their, um, their look, you know, also just like, uh, the way eyes are expressive, you know? Bro, eyes are, I don't know, I could talk about this for hours, bro. Eyes, eyes along with like the moon are just something, like something I just can think about and talk about and care about until I'm gone. <laughs> like, same with movies, movies and shit. Like, it's beautiful. Ah, shit, it is, bro. In the back of my mind, I was like, is that Rocket Man? Rocket Man. Oh, I, I thought, I thought for a second, maybe. And then I heard her do the thing. That's a banger. Ooh. Oof. Hey, you got me. But you got me. But you got me. Those transitions are cold. I like those a lot. Holy. Now that was like the most exciting thing I've seen out of Starfield so far. That was sick, man. Like just those edits. That they went for those like cinematic uh edits i like that a lot that's really cool like i'd want to put that in you know if i made a movie i'd want to do that in like my kind of movie like you know i like that i like that a lot uh but here's some more starfield with todd howard on the stage a lot to show no you, shot the, good news <laughs> the man comes. himself very special todd. who can be here to talk about starfield please join me Welcoming to opening night live in Gamescom for the first time ever, one of our industry's greatest creators, the director and executive producer of Bethesda Game Studios. That's right, Todd Howard, everybody. Todd, thank you so much for coming all this way to Gamescom. Uh, we have a lot to talk about with Starfield, but first of all, is this true this is your 
first ever time at Gamescom? This is my first Gamescom, and you were right. You said how great the crowd is here. Really? And a real. Huh. That's kind of surprising. And just all the fans that come here for this biggest, the biggest convention in gaming to celebrate games. And I figured, you know, it is our first new franchise in over 25 years. So if I was going to come, you know, it's for Starfield. Well, uh, we all welcome you to Gamescom in Germany, and we're all very excited to step into Germany. this new world, Starfield, uh, and the next week, early access. Set up for people, why did you want to make this game, Starfield? Why did you want to create a new world? You know, I think like a lot of gamers out there, we have dreamt of a game where we look to the skies and we can blast off into space and explore. We love to make games where we can explore these worlds we've done, like with the Elder Scrolls and the Fallout series but we want to do something brand new where you could explore with complete freedom in the galaxy. I get it's a that. Game we've always wanted to play. That was like that, movies. Um, we think a lot of people wanted to play as well. It's kind of that, that dream game. Yeah, why not? Yeah, I wish I could talk about it, but uh, it's- I was like, if you're a director and one day you were just like, you know what? I've made three Western movies, man. I'm just gonna make a gangster movie or like a comedy. Why not? <laughs> just like, it's quite an experience. I might be I good at it, but I'm gonna change it up. In soon. Just cause. Um, you did bring some stuff to Gamescom to show to fans. I know there's a theater. Tell us, I know you've been, you know, sharing a little bit about the game, but I know there's a lot you want people to discover when they play it. What did you bring here to, uh, to Gamescom? Yeah, it's really cool. They, uh, we've built a 300-person seat theater where we're actually showing the beginning of the game, and you start out as a miner, and you, you touch this artifact that affects you in some way where you see a bit into space time hmm. and launch. then you get to create oh. your own character our games are about creating and being whoever you want and then you're off on adventure wait how do you do that did he shoot a barrel to make that eradicate what the hell affects you in some and you start out as a miner and you you touch this artifact that affects you in some way where you see a bit <laughs> into space time and then you get to create your ah, own character our so games it was a are barrel. about creating and being whoever you want and then you're off on adventure huh Yes, uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, this adventure. I know, uh, you know, people have been wondering kind of what the, the main quest line is going to be after you create your character, which is something that I know. I saw even someone on the internet this week created you, I think. Did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> someone made Todd, Todd holy. <laughs> I'm not sure that's real. <laughs> Surely. Well, the thing is, I think you could literally create, you know, whoever you want and then enroll yourself into this adventure and tell us about sort of how the adventure starts. What can we expect? Well, you jump off, you're joining Constellation, which are the last kind of group of space explorers like NASA meets Indiana Jones searching for these artifacts. But the story goes a lot of places. The game has a lot of surprises that we haven't talked about. I don't want to spoil them here, um, but really, really happy with how the story turned out and, and where it goes. Yeah, it's, uh, it's such an mm. epic experience and, and you and your team have done so much for this industry and uh, the fact that you guys have worked through COVID, building this and, and coming on the other end, uh, we're so excited for everyone to get a chance to play it. So thank you for all you've done for our industry, Todd. Everyone, Todd Howard. Thank you. Can't wait for you to play the game. Oh, is it? Thanks so much, Todd. Really oh man, brother. I thought Todd was gonna come in with like the exclusive sneak peek. I mean, he gave a little bit, but you know. Man, huh. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, I don't really know how to take that game. Because the first time I saw it, the NPCs were very clearly, like, very much in development. So the game just looked really goofy. Like, I remember just looking really goofy. I haven't really seen anything since, but I like that, uh, that cinematic. I mean, I mean, even their idea for it, I do like. Because it reminds me, like, of uh, No Man's Sky. Just, like, the exploration of space. Like he said, like, it's just an interesting idea especially if you can execute it right or and differently like uh especially with like a bethesda twist people who've done fallout and you know skyrim and all that stuff like could be interesting maybe i don't know i should probably look into it more also it comes out so soon though maybe i just play it maybe i don't even look into it and just play it that could be fun pretty sure it's gonna be on game pass that'd be interesting